Hey one, this is Jake and today I will show you how to do this animation in After Effects and yeah, hopefully you will learn something and let's start. So we're now in After Effects and yeah, you can download my bird that I constructed here uh, on the description below. As you can see, I put every layer like a part of the body from the bird. For example, here this uh, wing F for wing front, it's a layer, or this one tail, the eyeball, like all this stuff, like on a separate layer. So, to uh, um, start animating this bird, I will first find out my body. It's on my case layer 3, and you can see like always this pointing dot. And if I press R, to open the rotation attribute or I can just simply click this button here to open like here this uh, arrows and I can also find the rotation point here I can rotate the body like how I want but as you can see it always rotates uh, where this point at, uh, is so by simply using this tool here this pan behind tool I'm able to change this point of rotation so in my case, I, I think like it's always a good um, spot to put the body rotation put always like in the hip part of the character. So with my bird character, it will be like this area right here. So if I check my rotation point, you can see it rotates now from this. And as you can see right now, while I'm rotating, all the other parts are still detached. Like I want this head to remove also with the sips. So I will just go all layers one by one. So I will start foot F. And you can see like here this outline which the layer is like belong to. You can simply also unhide it with this um, icon over here. Now it's hidden. Now you can see it again. So sometimes you don't want to see the outlines, but mostly it's turned on if you um, try to edit stuff. So I first try to put the rotation point like in the right place of every layer. For example, the wing, it should be able to flap like maybe this part here. And I can always quickly check it with R to see if the rotation works. Like over here it works. Then the body I already made, this tail over here. I think it would be smarter to put the rotation point here to the left side so I can rotate it like this. Then I do the same for the other layer over here, like uh, for the other tail, sorry. Then the pupil, it can be like this, it's cool. The eye itself, it's mostly in the right place. Eye back plaque, eye back is this, it can stay like this. The head layer. Here it would be smart if the um, bird rotates his head like from the neck part. So I pull my um, rotation point here and put it over here and I will make a quickly rotation to check and it works. Then the hair part here, by the way uh, a quick shortcut if I press space on the keyboard my mouse changed to this hand. And I can simply easily uh, move my canvas around. A really handy shortcut you should always know. So anyways, the hair. I put the rotation point here. Then over here. Like, always try to find like the root of the body part. Then the uh, mouth part up. Maybe I can put it over here. Let's see. You can always try it out. Yeah, it looks fine for me. Then the down part I put over here. Then the wing back. The rotation cone can be maybe over here. And the foot back, we can see the outline here. I will put the rotation point here. So now we put all the rotation point to the correct place, but right now I have still the issue, for example, I move the body around. Everything gets detached, so we should attach everything 
like together. So I just check like for example here foot front. Foot front is over here and it's connected to the body as I can see on my um, illustration. So I just check this parent and link over here on the right side of the layer. If it's not open in your case, you can simply just click on this expand or collapse item. It's the second item below here. It will uh, pop up all the um, yeah, like all the additional stuff that After Effects provides. And the important thing is like I think it's default always there as I can see, look. But here you can un un open stuff. I just expand like the first two. So I go to foot front and I will connect it by holding click and drag to the body. And now as you can see now it says here parent link to layer 3 body. And for example if I press P to change the position and now move right and left, I can see the leg part is still connected on the body. So Right now I simply do it for all the layers I have. So the wing front, as I can see the wing front is connected to the body. The body, let's say, let's make the body our main body part. So I just don't connect it to anything. Then this tail and the back tail, I both connect them to the body. And if you want to connect more stuff at once to body, you can simply hold shift and for example I can click till here and it will select all but I just want to um, tail so I click tail shift or I can just press tail and control and it selects both and then I just click connect one and it's connecting both to body then the pupil it's of course inside this back eye, so I will put the pupil in the eye. Then the back eye, it's this uh, yellow shape. I will just connect it also to the yeah to the eye back. So when I move the eye back, this part moves together, and I will connect all this to the head and neck. So when I move now my head back and forth, it stays there too. And the head and neck is of course connected also to the body, as I can see in my illustration. Then of course all hairs are connected to the head. The mouth part and mouth down part is both connected to the head. And the back wing is also connected to the body, so body. And the back foot is also connected to the body, as I can see here. So. Now we connected everything except the body, as I can see here, and just a quick test, if I move now the body left and right, everything seems to fit in the place. So I will now start a simple bird animation, and first I will decide like how long I want to do the animation. So I think I will make like a, maybe a 3 second loop. So I usually uh, don't prefer to start at zero. I mostly start like, let's start with two seconds. So I move this part over here, this blue part, from the first uh, from zero second to two. Then I can just press Alt and the mouse um, mouse scroll button, and I can just hold Shift, and it's like connecting automatically to my uh, blue line that I put here and I will just make it like f let's let's make four seconds it seems cool for me yeah uh, the um, advantage if you don't start at zero it's um, because maybe later I have keyframes here and I want to put them a bit front I can easily do it like this but if I start at zero I can't put any keyframes in front, so it's actually better to start a bit like at zero, uh, seconds, two seconds or further. So I will first start simply with an up and down animation. So I go to body, 
press contents, no, press transform, sorry, the position button. And I will just animate an up and down animation. So the bird is now here. I clicked like this position button, this um, watch. Then I'd simply go to After Effects here, the time a bit right, and move the bird a bit down by putting here, like by scrolling left to right, a bit down. So here's the other, uh, other numbers, which points down. And then I will copy and paste this first keyframe with Control C and Control V. And I will just check out if it works. So now it looks a bit uh, too slow and robotic. And we can easily change it. Um, first, to change the speed, I just put all the keyframes a bit more together. Maybe like this. And let's see how it looks. This already looks better. Now you can still see it's like really robotic movement and if we see like this uh, keyframes as a, a graph we can see it's like really liney what we can do is just create like ease ease into the keyframe and what that does let's just check out i press right click keyframe assistant and press easy ease or you can just press f9 and you can see it created now my keyframes as cross. And if I just watch now the animation, you see it's now more dynamic, let's say, but it's easily more recognizable. If you see the graph, you can see it's now like wavy because movements don't happen like from like one, one, one from the speed. It's more like yeah, let's say it starts slow, then gets fast, and then gets slow. You don't directly have the same speed always, so you should try to always get like this curvy lines if you can. Okay, now you see the timeline moves, uh, loops between this blue line. And of course here at the end it needs to go more up and down, so I will take these keyframes, Control c Control v and paste them like three times in total. So I have this up and down movement fluently going on. Cool, now we have this movement going. So I think the uh, big next step would be to uh, implement wing flapping. So I will go to my wing layer here and you can press like um, we can just now animate the rotation. So I open this, click on the rotation. And by the way, if you created like a keyframe here and you don't want to see the other stuff, like position scale, you, you can see it gets a bit crowded. You can just simply press U on the keyboard and it just hides everything except uh, where no keyframes are and uh, where keyframes appears. In my case, rotation. I, I can do the same for body. So it's not so crowded below. And I will do like the same step. For example, when the bird is down, um, the wing can be up, for example, the front one. Maybe at the start when he's like up, it goes down. Here we can see a small glitch. The foot is uh, in front of the wing. It's easy to fix, we just move the foot one layer down and it's again hidden because always the layer on top is the layer which is more nearer to the uh, camera in After Effects. Okay, so it starts with the flap is down, then it's up, maybe I can do it a bit more, and then it's going down again. Let's see how it works. Okay, now it looks still robotic, so I will press F9 to put my ease ease inside. And now, of course, I need to copy and paste all my three key, uh, keyframes three times to see like this animation. 
So now we animated one flap. And right now everything happens at the same time. But I will show you a trick later. Let's just continue the same thing we just did with the back wing. I go here to my back wing. Press R to open the rotation attribute. Then I don't need to click like all the stuff inside. Create a key frame. Then first the wing is down. Like this, maybe. Then here I will just also make the wing to the highest top. Maybe like this. Then it goes again down. I just copy the first keyframe here. Make ease ease to all. And copy and paste my keyframes two times. Now it looks like already cool. But everything happens at the same time and it looks like robotic a bit. So what I will do now is I will just copy all the keyframes for the wing front again. So it looks like this. And I do the same thing for the back wing. And now I will just move my keyframes a bit to the left. Maybe like this. So they don't uh, happen at the same time. Also, I tried to do the same thing with the back wing. Like here, it would be again aligned. But animation always looks nicer if it doesn't align perfectly. So, let's try it like this. I aligned it a bit more to the left, the back wing. And let's see how it looks. And as you can see, it looks now more natural or more dynamic, the animation, with this simple technique by just offsetting the keyframes. Okay, cool. So we have now this flapping animation. And the next good thing we can do is maybe animate a bit the head. So I will always orientate myself with the main body animation. It's over here, this up and down stuff. And I will check my head neck here, layer 9. And press R for rotation. And maybe when the body is completely down, the head can also be like this a bit. Then when he's in the highest point, the head can be in the highest point too. And I will just repeat the same stuff again and again. And to again apply this offset, I will do my technique that I showed you before. Maybe it can go like this a bit. Actually, I mostly just guess it and just watch the preview to see how it looks. And now we have like this animation which looks cool. Then the next thing we can do is animate maybe the tail here. And I will press again for the rotation. And when the bird is like in the lowest point, the tail maybe can go, go down or up. Let's make up. And I will first orientate always with the body, because here's the main movement. Then again F9, copy and paste the tree two times. And move it a bit, maybe like this, and let's see how it looks. And actually now the back tail has a nice animation here. And because I'm lazy, I will just copy and paste the rotation point from this back tail that I already created again to my other tail part here. By I just select all my keyframes, go to rotation and press paste, and move it again a bit left so it's not the same aligned. And I will just check out how it looks. And now you can see it has like this flappy fluid animation. The next thing I will do is the same with the hair on the top. And actually I can again just copy and paste my animation that I did before I think. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. So I press R for the hair in front here. Paste it inside. And let's see. Yeah, actually it looks nice. 
And I will use the same rotation that I animated before for the other hair here. So I press here, here. And I will also align it a bit like this, so it's not happening at the same time. Like this, for example, let's see how it looks. And now the hair has like some nice animation, quickly and easily done in less than a minute. We can apply the same stuff also for the foot here maybe, because they look a bit stiff here, the foot layers. And I will copy again. As you can see, I just copy all the stuff, but that's the trick sometimes. So I copy it, move it a bit here so it doesn't align with the body, to have like this smooth stuff, smooth and simple animation here. And I will do the same thing with the foot at the back. Let's see it like this. Right now you can see it's getting a bit crowded so you should always um, name your layers. And I will just try to check where my keyframe starts at the foot, uh, front foot. And I will make the back foot like the same first and then move it just a bit to the left so it's not happening at the same time but still somehow the same. Yeah, and actually the bird animation is done for my case. So to animate the clouds I will do just a simple simple animation. So I will go to cloud 1 and shift cloud 4. So all clouds are um, selected here. Press right click pre-compose and pre-compose will say like this. And I say cloud 1, press OK and it will create like a cloud folder. By animate uh, by um, insert like to activate the sun symbol here, I can still see what's happening inside in the cloud layer, like each separate layer here. But they're now like one layer, and if I double click it, I can still see my clouds inside it. It's like a folder practically, and I will just animate it with position, so I can animate all at once without doing so much of work, let's say. So I will go to my end keyframe here and move all the way and maybe they can also all start with nothing. Like this is really a simple um, cloud animation and let's see how it looks. And now he's flying. So guys, I hope you liked the bird animation and I hope we'll see each other next time with a new tutorial.